becoming an <laughs> so oftentimes I see a lot of people asking how do you become a flight attendant and this is just going to be a short video to give you my five tips on how to become a flight attendant tip number one you have to find out who is hiring um, you can't apply for a job if you don't know who's hiring so there is a website that a lot of the flight attendant um, applicants use and I will either put a link below or number two you need to clean up your resume you want things that are appealing to a job recruiter just make sure that it looks very professional and it's very well put together um, you don't want any I don't even know what people I don't know just keep it professional because I'm not sure what you could even put on a resume that would be inappropriate but apparently people do so I've never ran across a resume that was very inappropriate but then again I've never been a job recruiter either so I'm not 100% sure what they look for but I know that if you keep it as professional as possible there's no way that you know your resume could knock you out of the running for becoming a flight attendant. Make sure that you have an accurate 10 year um, job history because a lot of the airline companies that are out there do look that up. That is part of your background. So just make sure you have it on hand. It's very easy to obtain. You just have to do your research and figure out where you need to obtain that information. I actually kept track of my work history so I didn't have to go out and obtain that but I know that a lot of people hold a lot of jobs in a 10 year period. So it's very easy to have one of those jobs or the time, the dates in which you work there slip your mind. So there is a way that you can find that out. You just have to do that research for yourself. If I knew that, I would give it to you, but I don't. So I do apologize, but I know that there is a way that you can figure that information out. No. Tip number three, you want to research the company. Not every company fits everyone's lifestyle. You want to be sure that the company that you're applying for will fit your lifestyle so that when you go in there with these expectations and hopes of something that that company may not live up to because, you know, that's not part of their culture or part of how they do things, then you don't want to disappoint yourself. You'd set yourself up for disappointment if you were doing that. So to avoid all types of disappointment, just go ahead and do your research on the company. However, I do strongly, strongly encourage that you apply to multiple airline companies again golden golden tip here okay i encourage you to apply for multiple airline companies because once you get that rejection from the one company if you get that rejection from one company i got a rejection from one company the first company i applied to and i bawled my eyes out so I didn't know where to go from there and I ended up joining a Facebook group um, for flight attendant hopefuls and current flight attendants and whatnot just all in the airline industry and they kind of boosted my spirits a little bit and I went out and applied for more airline companies but that first one it's like you're you're being hit by a bus so that rejection letter is not fun if it happens so make sure that you have a backup always have a backup you want to go in there, you want to grab your CJO, but sometimes that doesn't happen because that company doesn't fit with your lifestyle and you may not know that, but they know that. So they're saving you from something that would never fit for you anyway. Um, I strongly encourage people to look at maybe the previous year's pay, um, the hub cities in which you know the airline operates out of where you may be based at you know where the destinations are what their um, reserve life may be like because every company is different I cannot stress that enough every airline company is so much different as to what, how they run their operations so just make sure you research that get as much information as possible and then narrow it down to maybe the top five that you know fit for you and apply for those and then you won't be disappointed because a lot it's very easy to hate your job as a flight attendant if you are working for the wrong company because that does not fit your lifestyle 
It's very real. That's why you see the videos that are on YouTube. Why I quit my job as a flight attendant. I hate being a flight attendant. Blah, blah, blah. It's because people have gone out and tried to categorize each and every company as being the same. Just, oh, I'm going to be a flight attendant. But if that company does not fit your lifestyle and how you have it imagine your life to be, you're going to be very upset. So just make sure you do your research. Make sure you put yourself in the best position to be happy. That's what it's all about. Tip number four. Um, clean up your social media. Again, clean up your social media. There are recruiters out here on every single social media site, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, you never know. Just clean up your social media, especially Facebook. I think that Facebook is more so how recruiters find you because nine times out of ten, if you're not one of those weird people who don't use their real name, nine times out of ten, you use your real name on Facebook. So. There are recruiters that are out there that are set up to look at your social media sites. It's the reality. It's our day and age. Social media plays a big input in our lives today. So therefore, just make sure that your social media is somewhat decent. Um, personally, my social media is private. Um, you aren't going to be able to look at what I post on Facebook if you're not my friend and I do not accept anybody who I don't personally know so that's how I keep track of my social media but there are a lot of people out there who have open pages and they post whatever and wonder why they get a lot of thanks but no thanks emails just take a look at your social media and if you don't know if your social media is bad or not then ask somebody ask somebody to look for it. ask the most professional person that you know to just go through your social media page and see if they were considering you for a position, would they hire you? Tip number five, go apply. <laughs> because you'll never have a job as a flight attendant if you don't apply. Apply, be positive, have fun, and enjoy the process. And I have one last golden rule for you. Let me say this very, very clearly. During this application process to become a flight attendant, you must have patience. This is not a process where you apply for the job one day and the next day you get a phone call and then the third day you have an interview. That's not how this goes. There are so many steps, which I will get to in a later video, but there are so many steps in the entire application process. Your application process can take anywhere from one month to a year. So just be patient, enjoy the process. Don't make any outrageous decisions to quit your job because you just now put in an application. Um, be a little bit more responsible. Just have patience. Just make sure that you enjoy the process of potentially becoming a flight attendant because it is a process to say the least. All right, well, that's all I got for you. Those are my five plus one golden tip to becoming a flight attendant. Um, I will catch you in my next video. And for anybody who is applying or has any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below. You can ask me anything about anything and if I know the answer, I'll give it to you. And I'll see you in a later video. All right, bye-bye, enjoy the skies. Personally, my social media is private, so you can't find me even if you, I mean, you can find me, but you're not gonna be able to so look at, so to avoid all types of,